All right, good morning, Tracy. This is the second part of the lesson. Um, today we'll be going, we'll be doing the last two questions, the last two word problems of uh, page one eight eight, and then we'll move on to the problem solving. Then after that, I just uh, need you to complete a one page of the running revision two. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, for page one eight eight, I'm gonna let you do, but I'm just gonna start you off with question two by showing you how I analyze the question by showing you how I draw the models but the workings the equations everything else I'll let you do similarly for work for problem solving I am going to just go through with you but I'll expect you to do it for me right okay so let's get this going uh, same thing rice method I bought a DVD player I bought sorry I bought a DVD which is $39 so this is a DVD and then I bought a book too. The book cost $13.70, seventy cents less than the DVD. So every time again you have less than, more than, tell me who is more, who is less. Okay. So a book costs less. A book costs less. So a book is actually less. So I'm gonna write here. Okay, uh okay. Book cost less. So I'm going to arrow it out. Okay, the book cost less. Okay, and the DVD cost more. Okay, because a book cost less. Book cost less, DVD cost more. So the longer bar will be for my DVD. The shorter bar will be for my book, which I will just call it a B. So what do I want to find? I want to find all together. So it means I want to find total. Okay, I want to find the total. All right. Okay, okay. So basically, this is what I want to find the total. Okay. So let's read all the numbers. I bought a DVD. This is $39.90, this whole thing. I bought a book that cost $13.70 left. So this is my $13.70 left. So you realize that you know the DVD cost. Book cost $13.17 less, which is this, which you probably need to find. And then once you know the book, once you know the DVD, I'm sure you know how to find the total. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with this model. You have this model with you as well as you do. So with this, um, once you know how to do this, I'm sure you can also do question three by yourself. Okay, I won't go through this. I'll go through this on Monday instead. Okay, so after 188, I want you to skip 189. So please skip 189. I want you to go to problem solving, which is 190 and uh, 191. Okay, so over here you realize that it says here that a cap and two t shirt cost $64.50. So one cap plus two t shirt, which is here, you realize, let's highlight over here, cost this. Okay, so one cap, two t shirt, $64.50. The same type of cap means. So same type of cap and one t-shirt cost $38. Let's use a different color. Okay, so one cap, one t-shirt, 38. How much does one cap cost? So I want to know how much is one cap. Okay, I want to know how much is one cap. Okay, so the question here is asking you how much is one cap, but I'm just given two t-shirt and one cap, which is $64.50, and one cap and one shirt, which is $38. So let's draw in uh, what is given. So I have this. So I, I know that is two t-shirt and one cap cost $64.50. Let's draw in this statement. One cap, one t-shirt is $38. So let's draw in one cap, one t-shirt, this is $38. So if I want to find out how much is one cap, obviously you can't find the answer out straight away. But you need to make use of this number. 
$64 and $38 to find one cap. Okay, so I'm not gonna do for you, I'm gonna let you try, but I'm just gonna give you some hint. You realize one cap, two t shirt is $64.50, you realize one cap, one t shirt is $38. So you realize the difference. Just going to cut this like that. The difference is actually one t shirt. So you might want to find this first. Okay. So you realize that two t shirt, one cap, this amount, one t shirt, one cap, this amount, you realize the difference is just one t shirt. So you actually can find out how much is one t shirt. So go ahead and find out one t shirt. But that's not the answer. The answer is one cap. But if you know one t shirt, which is here, and you know the total is 38, I'm sure you know how to find the one cap. Alright, so I just want to repeat again. What you have is two t shirt, one cap, the $64.50, one shirt, one cap, $38. So you realize the difference between the two is OG, one t shirt. So you can actually find the cost of one t shirt. And once you know that, you know the cost of one t shirt, you know the total for one shirt and one cap, you will be able to find the cap. So I'm not gonna do for you, I want you to try it out yourself. Okay, I want you to fill this part in. Of course, show me the workings as well. So I want to see workings over here. And then I need you to fill in this part for me. Okay, okay, let me just draw it out. Okay, so I want you I want you to fill in the blanks. Okay, and then I want to see the working being shown on the side at the side. Alright, so this is your homework. Okay, of course, at, at the end, I also need you to fill in this part for me, which is the checking part. Okay, of course, I also need you to show me the working. So I'm going to write the working perhaps at the bottom. Okay, so I also need the workings to be here. Okay, so your homework will be for question 2 and 3 for page 188 with the problem solving over here as well as um, running revision 2, page 3. We have done running revision. 2, page 1 and 2 already, we have gone through that. Now I need you to do page 3, only page 3, question 9 to question 12. So please dig out the worksheet, make sure you do page 3, question 9 to question 12. Okay, and we'll discuss all of these answers on Monday. See you on Monday.